Shown here are two multiple coil inductors. They are close proximity to one another and whenever they're this close what we have is really a transformer. Right now we're feeding this what we call the primary with a DC source but nothing is happening and because it's DC we have a stationary magnetic field. In order to induce something on what we call the secondary of the transformer in order for this to light up this light bulb then we have to have a changing magnetic field. Notice when I start to change the polarity you see a little bit of flicker of light on the secondary and you can see here that the compass is moving as well. So it takes a changing magnetic field to induce any action on the secondary. Now if I really get close you could see that there's even a brighter light coming from the light bulb. So hopefully this demonstrates that you need a changing magnetic field in order to induce a voltage across this coiled wire. So an AC source will always create a changing field but a fixed battery source does not create any work on the secondary coil of the transformer. Now we can change our source to an AC source and what we have here is a changing magnetic field cutting through this area coil. Now if I increase the amplitude we should get a little bit brighter and if we increase the frequency we can see a faster flicker in our light bulb as well as more movement on the compass. We can also replace the pickup coil with an meter and you can see a slight flicker as well. Now when you have more coils on the primary than on the secondary this is what is called a step down transformer. So as I increase the number of coils and reduce the number of coils in the primary so we here we have a 2 to 3 ratio then this is known as a step up transformer. So we can step up the amplitude of the voltage with this ratio of 2 to 3. And we can step down with a 4 to 1. So basically the amplitude of this guy and the amplitude of the secondary will be one fourth of the primary. Notice that the transfer of energy or power from the primary to the secondary are equal and the rest is dissipated as heat. Now again as I mentioned earlier when you have an iron core sharing between these two coils then it can become highly efficient up to 99 percent.